It's Mac the Guru. This is my review for Snowfall Season 6, Episode 4. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the other content and click that like button. That's for everybody. Everybody click the like button. Now, this episode, I thought it was just cool, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. I thought it was cool. It was some stuff that happened in it. It was some stuff that I really liked. First off, Franklin going back and cooking. Oh, I like that, man. Because it's more about not him going back and cooking, but him being a boss. Not like a, a little boss. He the big boss. You asked for the boss, so they sent me, dog. He the big boss. He comes, burns dude face, let him know, man, y'all ain't working hard enough. And then rolls up the sleeves. Changed the suit. Hopped out the suit. Came back, sweat on. And got down with them. That's how you got to do sometimes. Sometimes you in charge. You got to go get down with your people. Whatever you doing. You could be the head guy at the factory. Sometimes you got to get out and hop on the assembly line. You see what I'm saying? So that's what that was about. It was showing you that. And you can take that and use that in your life. So that was probably my favorite part about this episode. But him burning that dude face did almost lead to them getting knocked off. But it's going to bring him and Kane closer together. Remember, him and Kane and I are arguing. They literally argue. Ain't no telling where that argument would have led to. But they end up getting shot at. And then they see the dude with the scarred face running there. They knock him off. They knock off another dude. And him and Kane get up out of there. Kane can probably walk. So you know he going to mess with Franklin after this. Because Franklin carrying him up out of there. You see, and they make it to the car. Both of them get up out of there. And best believe, it's going to be some get back on Aunt Louie and Uncle Jerome. If they could figure that out, that it was them. Even though they at war with them anyway. But they might just think, maybe this dude just doing this on his own. The guy that had the scar face. Maybe that was just him on his own. Like, alright, I'm going to come hit Kane since he let Franklin scar my face and ain't do nothing. You know, so they could think of that too. It could go either way. Now, we also had the big fight at the end. Leon wins the fight. It was kind of dark when they were showing the fight. I'm like, ah, they could have messed with the lighting a little bit. You know, and what's crazy is it was all over the light. It wasn't over the light. It was just building up because it's Leon Projects. He don't like how it's being ran. Dion really ain't a great leader at all. He don't want the young boy to go to school. He wanted to be dark and the lights out. You know, Leon ain't going for that. He like, bruh, I didn't pay somebody to put this light in. I know you didn't just shoot this light out. And then on top of that, you talking about my wife, which that's one of the things you got to deal with when you wife the chick that a lot of people didn't been with. Because let's believe, all them done been with Wanda. Because remember, she was strung out. So ain't no telling what she done did for some work. And she's struggling with that as it is. They need to get out the projects. <laughs> like, dog, I was thinking about that when she was sitting in front of Sissy talking about she's struggling with the work. I get it. You want to help the people. Trust me. I get it. I want to help the people too. Best believe that. And you go down and you help the people, you know, but. You don't got to stay there. You don't got to be outside at night with your girl in the projects just sitting on the stoop. <laughs> like, you don't got to do it like that. You know what I'm saying? So they just need to get out the projects. She need to get away from drugs. And then hopefully Dion did get knocked off. But if he didn't, they going to have some problems. Because Dion do got some muscle on him. And I don't think he the guy that's just going to be like, okay, I take the back seat again. Nah. I don't think that's him. I think they're going to still be going at it if he ain't knocked off. And if he not knocked off, either he going to accidentally kill that young boy that, that uh, Leon is mentoring, or that young boy going to kill him before he can kill Leon. Like, it might be a situation where Dion not knocked off. He going to come back for his get back to knock off Leon. And be real close to knocking off Leon. And that young boy with the fro that's trying to go to college. Knock off Dion. 
That's that, it could go a bunch of ways though. How they write it, it just depends. But you know, if I was in there, you know, that's something I'd do for sure, for sure. So it could go that way. Now, off of that situation, we do got another big situation that's going on, and that's the situation with Teddy. Ruben and the KGB. I made a separate video on this. Make sure you check it out. But Teddy, the KGB, and Gustavo are all dealing with each other. And Gustavo is already snitching. He didn't got approached again. They like double snitch. You know what I'm saying? And the problem Gustavo is going to have, if he don't tell Teddy that he ran into Ruben, he, that better be the first thing he tell Teddy when they see each other. Best believe. Because Teddy going to be just talking to him like everything regular. Just to see if he going to tell him. So he better tell Teddy, yo, this guy approached me, da 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 I told him, nah, I'm good. Because if he don't say that, Teddy going to know Gustavo is working with him or snitching or something. And he going to be trying to knock off Gustavo too. So, you know, he better say something. Now... What surprised me was Ruben in the scene with the other dude. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> what is going on, man? What <laughs> what is really going on? So that that just really surprised me. Like, what? Like, they didn't have this coming at all. You know, and then they just throw that on us. But, okay. Now, it's going to be real weird this next episode with the DEA trying to actually come to the warehouse and get Teddy and get all the dope. It's going to get real weird because Teddy going to have to figure out a way to get up out of there. And Gustavo is going to be trying to keep him there. So it's going to get weird with their dynamic and we're going to really see. Who's smarter, which we kind of already know Teddy's smarter than Gustavo, even though Gustavo is great muscle and he didn't been proven to be smart before, right? I don't know if he going to outsmart Teddy. Teddy already on to him, so might be the end for Gustavo coming up this next episode, which is episode five, which will be the mid-season episode, so hopefully they pick things back up. You know, episode five, I want to see somebody get knocked off, man. Somebody big. Um, we know it ain't going to be V and her mama. They ain't taking this trip. Hopefully that go well. Franklin don't trust V mama. He shouldn't trust her because ain't no telling what she really on. But uh, hopefully next episode we get back to it being a little bit more action-packed. I like this episode. Not as much as I like the last one, though. I thought this one was just cool. Yeah, no. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of the episode, man. It's Mac the Guru. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. I definitely appreciate it. And as always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.